Doctor, um, we had overnight Premier Li in China saying they won't allow growth to fall below 7%. Not only is defying the laws of gravity quite tricky, but uh, to do it in five months is especially tricky. Yeah, I think um, certainly the initial reaction will be a positive one as far as Europe is concerned because certainly uh, Asian uh, consumption and specifically Chinese consumption has really been uh, the main driving force behind the markets over the last number of years. Having said that though, I think it would be fair to point out that quite a few of the analysts, certainly uh, European analysts at any rate, uh, when it comes to uh, digesting uh, Asian uh, economic data and specifically Chinese uh, economic data, they do tend to take it with a pinch of salt. So yes, um, ma managing to uh, keep this above 7% will, uh, will certainly be viewed as, uh, as a positive uh, stance, but it'll be interesting to see exactly how committed they are uh, when it uh, uh, comes up to, uh, to challenge this, as it undoubtedly will do at some point in time down the road. You mentioned that pinch of salt there now. I mean, growth is heading towards 7. Chinese officials themselves have admitted it may go below 7. How are they going to turn it around in five months, and would you guys in the market believe that? <laughs> Well, I think we're going to need something to uh, to make us believe it just at this uh, early stage. But certainly, the commitment will be there to uh, to make a concerted effort to do this. Um, I think possibly some uh, infrastructure spending may well be the uh, the initial um, uh, sort of starting point for this. But where they take it from there, it's uh, it, it's uh, it's all speculation at this point mm -hmm. in time, unfortunately. Um, so we'll 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 give them a, a, the benefit of the doubt in the short term. But they they really do have only five months to uh, to uh, to prove that their uh, their words are worth, uh, worth their weight. Okay. Um, Europe opening about almost half of 1% higher. Um, we're in earnings season, of course, full swing earnings season, but the earnings haven't been particularly great. They've been not bad, but um, is there enough in the, those earnings to drive, to drive Europe higher still? Um, I, I think it's, uh, there's enough there to, to keep the momentum that we've got uh, going uh, for the time being. It'll be interesting to see when uh, some of these major indices uh, come up and, and retest um, uh, levels, as it were. I, I think uh, it's, we've, we've still got a, a half eye on the, uh, the U.S. markets and the reporting season that's going on there. That still is, I think, um, arguably uh, just as important, if not more so, than the, uh, than the European story. Uh, certainly, they are further down the road of recovery than we are, and it's being reflected in so many of their uh, uh, corporate news flows uh, that we're seeing. Um, I guess we weren't expecting quite as much out of the European scene as we were out of America anyway. Okay. I want to finish up um, talking about Turkey. Now, I know you don't follow Turkey per se, but um, this, the central bank meets today. It's under huge pressure to increase rates to try and you know, defend its currency. And it's not the only emerging market that's having to do that. Mm. Um, in general terms, are emerging markets and the problems they face, are they still a driver? Are they still a concern for developed markets? Well, when it comes to Turkey, uh, obviously they've been knocking on the door of the Eurozone for, for some time um, and have been keen to be, uh, be fully integrated, uh, really. They do find themselves uh, straddling the Asian and European zones anyway, uh, a little bit of a, an odd beast in that regard. Um, when it comes to their interest rates, um, yes, there's uh, undoubtedly a lot of pressure. They have their own independent currency and interest rates historically have always been uh, one of the main uh, tools that the, uh, the centralized banks can utilize to, uh, to help uh, balance their currencies out. I, I do think um, there has been a little bit of a, a currency war going on, although not quite as, uh, as aggressive as we thought it might be. Certainly, uh, the likes of uh, the Japanese Prime Minister Abe, the fact that he now has the upper and lower houses over there gives him a little bit more control. It'll be interesting to see uh, what effect that has on the, uh, the currency markets uh, uh, in the uh, weeks and months ahead.